The agriculture sector remains the largest employer for most developing countries and is closely linked to sustainable economic development, environment and trade. Though Zambia's economy is dependent on its mining and manufacturing sectors, the agriculture sector employs over 80% of Zambia's labor force and contributes about 19% of the country's GDP. The African Management Services company, AMSCO, provides integrated human capital development solutions to private and public businesses across sub-Saharan Africa. AMSCO offers four key services, recruitment, expatriate management, training and development, and development and advisory solutions. We are focusing on three core sectors, being agriculture and agribusiness, the manufacturing sector, as well as the financial services sector. Um, progressively, we'll also be looking at the tourism sector. The agriculture sector is an interesting one in Zambia, with huge opportunity for growth in the value chains of different crops and animals to bring the poor into the mainstream of the economy by offering them opportunities to participate in the value chains that are linked directly to large um, agribusinesses. Despite having ideal agricultural conditions, Zambia faces gaps that hinder the optimization of its agricultural output. Seed Company International Zambia, SIDCO, is an African seed company that researches, develops, and markets certified crop seeds. SIDCO has strong networks with its value chain through the agro-dealers to the farmers in all the 10 provinces to the rural areas in Zambia. SIDCO's Head of Sales and Marketing talks about some of their challenges. Farmer productivity in terms of the knowledge, the yields are very low. We are talking about uh, two, two metric tons per hectare in terms of mass production, which is below even the regional average. We should be hitting about maybe five metric tons on average per hectare. Also in terms of agro-dealers, uh, you find that they lack the skills in terms of running the business because they use uh, the seed business as a survival uh, tool. But basically this must go beyond survival. It must be a business which will be able to provide incomes uh, for the household um, as well as the nation in terms of taxes. To bridge these and other gaps, in March 2014, AMSCO partnered with Musika, a Zambian non-profit company that works to stimulate private sector investment in the small holder markets. Musika is a local company. We are supported by CEDA and DFID. And therefore then uh, we are actually concentrated in three market areas that we are looking at. One is input, the second one is uh, services, the third one is output markets. We invest into the private sector and we're hoping that the, the private sector will engage with the smallholder markets in terms of developing them. AMSCO, Musika and SIDCO co-finance the Improve Your Business training program as an intervention for SIDCO to fortify the value chain by empowering agro-dealers with business skills. That saw Musika bring on board market infrastructure such as agro-dealer storage containers, extension service support and motorbikes. AMSCO facilitated the training of selected SIDCO agro-dealers to build their capacity in the business management skills, among others. AMSCO proposed to SIDCO improve your business. It's a certified program of the International Labour Organization. This is a comprehensive program that takes a small and medium enterprise through the basics of running a business. So we carefully sat and selected together with SIDCO, a group of 50 stockists. We've been dealing with SIDCO products, I think, for the past, uh, I would say, the past six years now. We started as a starter with SIDCO, who were doing uh, about 10 tons in a season. And then uh, over the years, we've grown to reaching a level of 120 metric tons in a, in a season. The major reason why I thought of participating in that training is uh, most of the components that were going to be covered are very relevant to our business. How we, how we do our, our, our budgeting, how we do our costing, how, how we plan our, our procurement, all those things were covered in the, in, the, in, the, in the training. 
and we have we have we have also changed how we used to do things before. The training has improved our our our, our sales. During off peak, we make as less as maybe two thousand two thousand dollars per month, and during a peak period, we can make as much as six thousand dollars per month. So after the training, I would say it has improved. We are able to make maybe around three thousand dollars per month during off peak, and about eight thousand dollars during peak period. 64% of the participants were now comfortable to engage with the small-scale farmers, train with the small-scale farmers, interface with the small-scale farmers, as a result of the consultants that AMSCO with Musika drove into this agribusiness. This is not only a short-term project, it's a long-term project. This is where to go if we have just to improve the, the agri sector in Zambia. Because the more farmers that we bring on board are able to produce at higher level, so we need to improve the capacity so that they're able to generate income as well as feed their families and send children to school and many other good things which come out of a well a cultivated farming business. You know, the SME industry needs a lot of uh, training. Mainly, it involves people that maybe have very little, little, little training in the, in the management of business. So I'll just urge the organizations or the people that are funding the trainings to, to continue helping SIDCO to train the, the people that they do business with. Such interventions by AMSCO, Musika and other stakeholders assist in building sustainable value chains in agribusinesses and agriculture in Zambia, creating an enabling environment to achieve sustainable economic growth and development.